Hi friends, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the test data sheets. We are going to learn about some really cool uh, built-in functions related to test data in kits. And we are also going to see how we can run the scripts in multiple environments. In order to start with the uh, test data, um, it is also uh, good to know that we can have test data sheets uh, for multiple test environments. I had shown that very briefly in my very first video, but uh, I'm going to show that in details now. So uh, before we create multiple test environments, what uh, I would do is I would just save this project and I would close it, uh, save it, yes, and then I would uh, go to the location where my tool is installed. So this is where the tool is uh, installed in the projects location um, you have your project so the name of my project was my first project you would have your project invariably here so if you go inside your project if you go inside your test data folder you would have a properties file called environment.properties all you need to do is simply uh, right click uh, open up the file and here you need to provide uh, the name of the environment uh, that you want to create. So first I would create a test environment. Uh, later on, I would create a UAT environment, but I will do that from the UI of the screen, uh, UI of the tool. I'll show that later on. So that's one thing that you need to do, simply environment, and then put the name of the environment that you want. Then you come back to your test data folder, and there you create a folder with the same name as your, um, as the name of the environment that you had created. So it would be test, right? That's all that you need to do. So now go back to your uh, tools location start the tool by clicking on the run.bat file and let the tool open up and now you see in the data section you have a brand new environment or a brand new compartment called test which is empty because we haven't created any data sheet as yet okay so the first thing that we would do is we will uh, go through these individual uh, reusables and we are tr going to try to parameterize it from the data sheet. Uh, it's no point going through the test cases because the test cases are no longer uh, having any isolated steps and this is very important. It's a good principle that you need to follow, that you should follow, that your test cases are just uh, a group or collection of reusables. So if you change anything in your reusable, it gets automatically refactored in all your test cases which are using your reusable, yeah? So that's one. Uh, now, if I go to this login uh, test case or login reusable, I see there are three kinds of data. Uh, one is the, the, the URL, the, the username, and the password. So what I will do is in this test environment, by clicking on this plus icon, I'm going to create a data sheet. I'm going to name it as um, login. So this will hold my login details. The name of the scenario remains general and the name of the flow remains login. It is automatically picked up from um, the, the name of the scenario and test case, which is cur currently in focus. So that's very good. I have two default columns, but I can create as many columns as I want. Uh, I'm going to rename the column as URL. Now here as username and the next one would be um, password. Now to, to add a column, all you need to do is uh, click on the plus, plus icon and then click on add columns. You can also use the shortcut, perfectly okay. Now, uh, if you have to enter the data in the, uh, in the test step itself, then uh, we have to always 
use uh, the at sign and then the the URL or then the data. Uh, but when you put it in your data sheet, you do not have to uh, use the at symbol. Uh, standard user, which is the name of the user, so the username and the password. So I just simply cut paste uh, all the data and then um, just drag and drop to the respective steps, drag and drop, password, drag and drop. So now I have um, parameterized um, the, the test steps with data coming from your data sheet. Okay, I'm moving on to the next uh, uh, reusable. Uh, this is add items and I see that uh, the the only data is the Sauce Labs bold t-shirt. Um, so what I will do is I will create one more uh, test uh, test data sheet. I would name it as uh, purchase because we are testing the purchase flow. Um, so again, if you see from the uh, test case that is in focus, when I say test case, the reusable test case, uh, the name of the scenario, which is shopping, and the name of the flow is automatically picked up by the tool and is automatically filled in uh, in the first two columns. Okay, so now here we are going to add the item to buy. Okay, the item to buy. And this one is Sauce Labs Bold T-shirt. Um, and we are going to add this value here. Okay, now this is another object which uh, we thought uh, is also supposed to be parameterized uh, because not every time Sauce Labs Bolt T-shirt would, uh, would be bought. So let me first drag and drop this. So this is okay. So we are going to use something similar. We are going to use a set object property and we are going to uh, assert that the, the object that we have added to the cart, only that object is displayed inside the cart, right? So in order to do that, um, we have to go back to the application. So uh, Sauce Labs Bold T-shirt, right click go to object let's see the property quickly okay it is already having a relative x path uh, which is which is uh, showing sauce labs bold t-shirt which is perfectly okay now if you remember the way we uh, can parameterize this what i will do is i will simply remove this this part because that is a varying part i'm going to remove it i'm going to rename it to um, or rather use a variable like item to buy and i'm going to copy this item to buy um, add a line between three and four okay this is uh, it's, it's best to rename this object. Uh, um, this is the item to buy. So I'm going to drag and drop this. So if you see, as soon as I change the name of the object, it automatically refactored in my reusable and hence refactors in all my test cases. Here I'm going to use uh, same concept as line number one, set object property uh, what is it that I want to update that is this hash part hash item to buy and where am I going to pick it up from from the same column of the data sheet so simply drag and drop so the way it will work is it will first um, 
uh, uh, dynamically change the the value of this object and then it is going to click on this object then it's going to click on the card and then line number four dynamically update the property of this object make it uh, uh, bring it to a stage that we want by you know feeding this data that we have pushed into this and then at line number five it is going to check whether my updated object is present or not and then finally check out so this makes our scripts data driven at this point in time yeah okay um, then uh, then we're going to go for the checkout details now in the checkout details reusable we see there are three items that we need to um, parameterize so since we're going to use one data sheet for the entire test case uh, it is important that we change the scenario name so we're going to say uh, so we're going to double click on the scenario uh, column and then we're going to select scenario one which is this one and then we're going to select test case one okay so this means that for this entire test case all the data will be applicable for all the reusables that are feeding into test case one so here i'm going to create some columns so uh, uh, first name last name and zip code so these are the three um, parameters same process we need to parameterize this drag and drop drag and drop and drag and drop okay so all the three parameters have been added to the test scripts and then finalize is having one final data uh, we're going to create one more column and we're going to call it total price now for sauce labs bold t-shirt the total price was 17.27 okay maybe we can add the dollar as well no harm yeah uh, since it does not require a direct match um, because it has uh, contains a certain element text contains uh, what we can do is we do not necessarily need the total and then the colon and then the space we can only use the price here so we can just directly drag and drop this should be fine now what we will do is in the same in the same way uh, we will also parameterize the data for the second test case so uh, scenario one this time the flow is tc2 now remember tc2 has the exact same uh, test steps as test case one um, iteration one sub iteration one i'm going to explain this iteration and sub iteration later on now uh, in order to uh, uh, enter these these details we have to go to the application um, sauce labs bold t-shirt uh, let's just buy the the sauce labs onesie so i'm going to say sauce labs onesie and if i add it to the cart and if i go inside the cart 
oh sorry i got logged off let me log in go inside the cart check out I see that the total price is um, $8.63. So I'm going to use $8.63 for my assertion. $8.63. I'm going to use the same first name, last name, and zip code as of now. I will also show you uh, an easy technique. Uh, later on how you can parameterize this or make it uh, dynamic for every test case um, from within the tool itself so in order to copy this data onto your uh, next row simply select the row and just press ctrl D it's going to copy the data from the top onto your row Okay, so now this looks more logical. I'm going to first buy uh, Sauce Labs Bold T-shirt with this data, and I'm going to check whether the price is 17.27, or uh, I'm going to run my test case two with uh, the Sauce Labs onesie, and I'm going to check whether the price is 8.63 or not. Okay. So we see how powerful these reusables are. With the help of these reusables, we were able to create two test cases. Uh, the first test case, of course, was recorded. The second test case was super easy, just drag and drop. In a matter of a couple of seconds, we were able to create this. And we were also able to control the second test case and the first test case just with the data by uh, parameterizing everything from the data sheet. Okay, uh, now that we have created um, uh, the test data corresponding to the test environment, we will also quickly see how we can um, create a fresh new environment uh, say for example the UAT environment uh, for which you need to run your test cases. So in the UAT environment uh, or to create the UAT environment or a new environment you need to click on this plus icon just click on this one add the environment name in this case it would be UAT and in the test environment you have already created a lot of your data uh, data sheets right so you can say that i want to copy the data from my uh, other environments and you select which environment you want to copy it from so test i would select um, and then the login and the purchase these are the two data sheets that i have created in the test uh, environment and now i'm going to say create that's it so now you have a brand new environment called UAT where you have a login test uh, data sheet and a purchase test data sheet uh, which have been copied from the test environment. Of course, uh, now what you can do is if you can, if you just switch to your UAT environment, go to your data sheet, maybe you would change the URL. Well, not maybe, I'm pretty sure you would change the URL, which will now be pointing to your UAT environment. You will change your username and password. And similarly, in the other data sheets, you would change your um, uh, other data, which would be pointing to your UAT environment. And to execute, your test cases uh, in either of these environments uh, all we need to do is just click on this settings icon and select from the drop down the environment corresponding to which you want to run so uh, test or uat okay we're going to see the execution details and environment ex based execution details later on but this is how you set up your test environments <music>